This video of the month comes from an operation in Trinidad and Tobago, where an operator utilized EV's Optus technology to help evaluate the integrity and function of a surface-controlled subsurface safety valve in their gas well. The safety valve in the 7-inch tubing was leaking. Several inflow tests were performed and confirmed the leak rate exceeded the operator's integrity standards. With the integrity of the well at risk, the operator needed a complete understanding of the situation downhole. EV's Optus M125 camera was run on slick line with down view footage acquired to inspect the safety valve operation and evaluate the overall integrity. The camera was run to a depth of 460 meters, where initial testing appeared to show the valve functioning well. The flow tube and flapper were seen to be moving freely, however the valve was still leaking. The footage also revealed a substantial buildup of grease deposits around the inner body of the safety valve, but this was not believed to be affecting the sealing performance of the device. With no obvious signs of damage or issues that could be remediated in situ, the decision was made to abort restorative efforts and proceed with the installation of a new insert safety valve. Additional slick line runs were performed to lock the failed safety valve into the open position and make ready for the installation of the insert valve. The camera was run for a second time to verify that the safety valve was successfully locked open and confirm the assembly was clean and ready to accept the insert device. The video footage revealed the flow tube and flapper were in the fully open position and that the landing nipple and seal bore surfaces were clean and in good condition. With the visual information provided by the camera that the preparation runs were successful, the operator was able to proceed with installing the wireline insertable safety valve. Subsequent inflow tests confirmed the insert valve was fully functional, thereby eliminating the leak and restoring the integrity of the well.